example of a shift that really makes a very powerful difference. And another one I want to share, do we have time for another one, Zen? Would you like to hear another one? Oh, yeah, absolutely, we do. Yes, please. Um, and, and also, I want to just share, another, yeah, go ahead. Yeah. yeah. So um, I just want to give you the key shift move that I think makes all the difference, and that is loving yourself right now for whatever you're experiencing, whatever you're experiencing, whatever you're feeling or thinking. That shift move is really the antidote to criticism, to self-blame, to trying to improve yourself or trying to get rid of something. So rather than doing that, if you love yourself, that is give the kind of loving attention to your experience that you would give to someone or something that you know you love. So a friend or a mate or a pet that you really adore. To give that same feeling of love to yourself is a wonderful shift move. It opens up a flow of energy. It opens up a flow of connection. It really dissolves blame and criticism and allows you to be present right here, right now, so you can enjoy your life while you're in it. And to me, that's one of the big goals, one of my big purposes for interacting with people, everyone to have the most fun and the most joy that they can have in their lives now, not after you get perfect or after you've solved all your problems because there's always going to be problems coming up and I'd like you to have a better quality of problem uh, which is the other shift move I want to show you which is creating wonder questions so most people are in a cycle of complaint and that cycle of complaint then often involves other people and then you complain to them or you complain about them or they complain to you about their complaints and that keeps us in an adrenaline cycle and in that less aliveness than we can enjoy. Wonder questions, on the other hand, open you up to the support of the universe and to more information coming in through your heart, through your breathing, through your activity that allows you to create the kind of life that you want, regardless of how it's been up until now. So I like to show people how to turn complaints into wonder questions. So if you think of a complaint, you can use that. And I'll show you um, an example that a lot of people experience is they get caught up in worrying. They worry a lot, you know, yeah. they worry about not having enough money or they worry about um, they're never going to find the love that they want, but they're worrying about it. So right. the worrying yeah. and the more you worry about it, the better you get at worrying. And the more you get up here and the le more adrenaline you get going and the less actual creativity you're generating. So a wonder question never starts with why it will start with how or what great so i'd like you Love to that. generate wonder here's the shift move that generates wonder okay. it involves creating a hmm, hmm a delicious hmm, hmm that you can feel reverberating in here and you can feel reverberating in your face that Hmm. hmm. What that does is shift you from your critical brain to your wonder brain. It's impossible to criticize yourself while you're hmming. So, so literally when you make hum, the sound, right? Yeah, you like have to make, make the, the sound, sound otherwise it doesn't work. You can't just do it. Right, this is a body mentally. activity. Great. It is okay, a body good. activity. That is correct. <laughs> yes. So okay. when you hum, you literally open up the part of your brain that allows you to create magic. So when you do that, you've shifted from mm. worry and criticism, and you have a window of opportunity that you can drop a question in. 
So after your hum, oh. hmm, you can say, hmm, I wonder how I can generate an abundance of money. Or, hmm, I wonder how I can appreciate myself more and more every day. So you're giving yourself a different action than the worry. So you're not saying, hmm, I wonder how I can stop worrying. The brain doesn't right. respond very well to not doing something. So if you give yourself no. an action that's different okay. than the worry thought or the criticism activity, and you do that after the hmm, it's like sailing a boat in just a short amount of time or longer, depending on how much space you want to give yourself in that moment. But walking as if, so walking as if you appreciated yourself, walking as if you had all of the money that you wanted and were enjoying it, that walking as if begins to then generate your kinesthetic knowing and your kinesthetic wisdom, which will then give you ideas and impulses about other things that you can do that are going to add to that experience of moving into your chosen future. So that shift from worrying and trying to figure out, which just keeps you on that gerbil wheel, when you make the shift with the hmm, because the hmm shifts you to your wonder brain, then let yourself move as if. Move as if you were already in that new house, or you're already driving that new car, or you're already walking with your new mate. If you do that, walking as if, that really will generate your kinesthetic wisdom. I like that. My complaint that I chose to do this exercise with you is how my husband and I can't seem to do super well at organizing chores together. There's always some piece of information that's left out that makes it stressful or we have different ways of tackling it and that we, you know, that later we're like, oh, but we, we did you, you know, it just, it just seems uncomfortable sometimes. And so I like the whole idea of walking as if we already have fun organizing our chores yes you know I want it to be fun yeah. and I want to be proud of him and I want to be like yay baby you did it you know this is awesome yeah. and thank you and gratitude and what I'm missing that in that like that little chunkiness that's happening energetically around us you know working together so I really like that I like that a lot hmm you know what I'm I thinking wonder what it'll be like to have an absolutely wonderful time yeah yeah go ahead wonderful yeah that's a great one and what I was guessing as you were saying that is that you and your husband have two different paces. And the way that you move through life is the same way that you make decisions. So the pace at which you move through <laughs> life is yeah. the same pace at which right. you're going to do chores, which for almost all couples is different. So you might move faster or slower or you might have more, you might go kind of blump and blump and he might be steady. So. If you let yourself sort of try on moving through chores the way he does, and then he tries moving through chores at the pace you do, and then you kind of exchange the leadership, that might be another fun way Got for it. you to do it. So you're focusing more on what's your essence pace that would be most enjoyable, that could include I both like of that. you. Okay, Which leads me to wonderful. one other um, um, got a few... quick shift. Do we have time for it? Or are you? We're, we're almost at the top, yeah. and I want to just make sure we have enough time to talk about it. And we have a question. So yeah, I'm going to take that. this question. It's a text question from Jack. All right, here we go. Um, so the audience question is, <laughs> hi, I feel like doing breathing exercises is extremely boring. How <laughs> can I begin to enjoy them? Okay, well, great one question, thing you Jack. Do, do you want to take that one, Katie? Sure, um, and then you're totally welcome to add, to add to it. So I know Jack. So Jack, um, I'd suggest that you put on some really great music, music that you really enjoy, that feels lively to you. Uh, and also, I'd like you to let yourself wonder about what it, because often when something 